Well, hello, friends. I'm getting ready to greet my friends for brunch. You know, let me just say this. Even though we're home doesn't mean you can't dress up, right? Look at this. I feel so much better when I get out of my soft pants and put on, you know, much. You know, dress to the nines. You know, you at home, you can dress to the fours or the fives. You know, no one's judging. You know, get out of those soft, cushy clothes and get yourself in something good. We're gonna have brunch today. I got some good friends coming. We have some delicious cocktails we're pouring and we're gonna have some great conversation. I'll see you there. Ready for brunch? Let's go. Let's meet our brunch guests. First up, I have a wonderful actress that I've admired ever since the L word. Please welcome my friend, Lisa Haley. Woo! Hello, yay. <laughs> Hi, Coleman. But look at us all dressed up for the first time in five months. I have to tell you, I got warning that you were wearing a tuxedo, so I was like, I can look like a slob. Good. But I have to be, I have to be honest, I'm still COVID and I'm Still in my socks. <laughs> hey, it's called bottomless brunch at Coleman's. You can be bottomless if you want to. It's all waist up, waist up. And hey, you guys, I want to welcome a 12 time <laughs> Grammy nominated powerhouse singer, songwriter. Please welcome the R&B soulstress herself, my friend, Lettucey. Colin! Hey, Led. How you good doing? Good to see you. You look good, good to see man. You. You look good too. You look. I love. I love the colors that you're wearing today. Yeah, you know, even though it's fall, I still brought the flowers. Hello. I love it. <laughs> I, love it. I, have a, I have a question to kick us off, you guys. If you had to write a book specifically about these last few months of your lives, what would you title it? The little things. The little things. Why? Not that I ever took anything for granted, because I don't really do that, but. I don't think I realized how much the little things in life mattered. I mean, mm -hmm. just hugging my friends. I miss that so much. Yeah. How about you? How about you, Lettucey? The phrase that gets me is, this is hard with a line through it and use this is new. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because everything I thought it would be this, this year has been a challenge to adjust. It is about adjustment. And I kept saying hard, hard. And then I said, wait a minute, it's not hard. It's just new. We're all having such gro growing pains. I love it. I can control my little box. <laughs> <laughs> Alicia Haley, what did you whip up today for brunch? Well, I actually whipped it up last night. Oh, good. So you prepped. It's chia pudding. Nice. So you take your chia seeds, some almond milk, you let it sit in the fridge, and then in the morning you put your fruit and uh, coconut flakes on. That's fantastic. Now, do, do you remember when you were a kid, they had the chia pets? Yeah. Is that what I'm eating? Is that the same thing? I, it <laughs> might be the same thing. I don't think I put it together. <laughs> and now I feel like I'm eating like hair, hair balls. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Lev? What did you make? I couldn't wait for brunch because I got up extra early and I ate something. So you're, you're on dinner now? What you, you're, so you're on dinner so now? So I'm on, on a snack. That's what I'm having. <laughs> I'm having Havarti cheese with um, some crackers and oh, nice. a, a fruit cup. That's it. Oh, look at you. That's a healthy snack. Yeah, and, well, and you know, it's good. I it's love like it. It's like all the grips. Yeah, That's exactly. Good. Exactly. What are you having, Coleman? Well, I am having, today I didn't do any cooking whatsoever, but I decided to, because last last night I went to a market and I was like, what is this vegan pound cake all about? I have to Ooh. investigate this because I have to get my life together because I've been just eating everything possible for the past five months. And it has no, uh, no milk, no uh, egg. No flavor or flavor? <laughs> <laughs> and no, <laughs> no flavor. Oh my God, and it's amazing. Like it's soft and delicious and it's like- Is it? Is it good? It's pretty good. No, it's actually really good. I don't think you're lying. No, no, I used to think, you know me, I like food. So I thought that like it would taste like a rock, but it actually tastes really good. Oh, that's great. I wonder what's in it. I wonder what is in it, if nothing good is in it. <laughs> 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 All right, let's eat. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. I think 
the key to making a good cocktail is not only how it tastes, but also how it looks, like me. You know, please the palate, please the eye. I sent you guys some stuff, right? All you gotta do is yes. follow along. You got your stuff, let us see, you got it? Yep, you I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. okay, and the cocktail we're mixing today is the Don Julio Mojito. Yes, right? I'm very excited about this. So here's what you're gonna need. We're gonna need one and a half ounces of Don Julio Blanco. We're also gonna use a half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Get your limes together. We have a half an ounce of agave, six leaves of mint. We're gonna muddle that baby. One ounce of club soda. It's ready? So let's, let's use our six leaves of mint first because we're gonna muddle that. And for those okay. who that aren't understanding what a muddle is at home, it's basically we're mashing and getting all the juice out of it. How many, Coleman, like that? Like six, let's say six, yeah, that's good. Oh, like count them? You, you can count them, but you can also go for like eight if you're, if you're a little spicy today, you know? I feel minty, I feel minty. If you like mint, go, go for a little bit more. Oh, it smells good. It smells good, now let's muddle it. So basically, you're just gonna mash that joint. Look at that. See that? Get all the juice out of there. Break it up a little bit. Take out a little rage if you need to. Anything bothering you today? Ooh, that's muddled. Let's be down, okay? Now we're going to so <clears throat> we're gonna put in your lime juice, which we're gonna do a half a lime. And what I like to do, you guys, just so you know, which is a good trick to get all the juice going, rub it on the on the um, on your counter first. Roll it around. Oh, roll it? Okay. I always roll my limes or lemons around just to get the juice going forward. Do you? And do you feel like it gets softer? I do. I really do. <laughs> 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 Makes me feel good. I, oh, now it's nice and soft, right? That's yeah, it's good. nice. It's oh, that is better. It's a good that trick. And it smells good. good, too. Right? So now Everything cut that lime. Good. Because you guys smell good. That's why we chose this. <laughs> you can't smell us. <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> you don't know my life. You don't know what's going on over here. Okay. Good. Now squeeze that half a lime in there. Whatever way you prefer to squeeze it. Half a lime. Done. Great. Oh, wow. Uh, now we're going to go for the agave. We want a half an ounce of agave, right? So grab your measuring tool. You know, do you have a measuring tool? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And half ounce Is this of the an top. ounce? Yeah. Yeah, look on the side. I believe it. Yeah, that's an ounce. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, yeah, that's an ounce. So you want to go half of that. Pour that right in there, right in there. Good. We're going to go for one and, a, one and a half ounce of Don Julio Blanco. One and a half. Use your measuring tool. Go for one and a half. Okay. This cocktail features a winning combination of flavors that champions great tequila with fresh ingredients. Now we're going to add some ice. Put some ice in your shaker. Okay, I got to get some ice. Hold on. Oh, so do you, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in 30 minutes. <laughs> going down to the corner store to get some ice. <laughs> and so now we're gonna shake vigorously. Put that lid on there. Okay. Put the lid on that baby. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Uh. Oh, nice and tight. You shake it, baby. Oh, here we go, Lisa. You're you have a hard one. Yeah. Good. Oh. Now pop that top off, and I'm gonna have you put. Mine just popped off. I'm kidding. <laughs> I forgot to hold the lid. It popped off already. Okay, it's okay. Gosh, that smells amazing. You know what? Do me a favor. We're gonna do a little soda water first. Pop that okay. just a little bit in there. We'll just announce. In the in the glass or in the thing? yeah. An ounce in the shaker. We're gonna do an ounce in the shaker. Okay. And then okay. we're gonna shake it just once. Here we go, just shake one shake. Pop! That's it, that's all you gotta do. Perfect, because you don't, don't want it to explode. I lost my lid, so I'm just gonna do that. Okay. You did you? Pour, pour it into your glass, there we go. Put it all in there. Oh, look how pretty it looks, look at that. Now that's lovely, and you wanna do it because this glass is so tall as well, we're gonna top it off with some more soda water, okay? Club soda. Wow, that's nice. I want you to do this. Just take your stir, if you have a stir, and just give it a little stir, just to make sure that soda water mixes with that, you know? We need a sprig, we need to garnish this baby. Put a nice sprig of mint on there so it looks pretty. There we go, look at that, look how gorgeous. It looks like it's ready for a date. Oh, isn't it pretty? <laughs> for my friends back at home, for this Don Julio Mojito, just go to amc.com slash brunch. 
And remember, drink responsibly. Hey, you guys, let's have a toast. Hey, this toast is for good friends. You both been to my home. I look forward to you both getting to know each other and actually just do this up close and personal. I love you both. Love you love more. Love you back. Thank you for Cheers. having us. To new of friends. To new friends. Mm -hmm. Woo! Cheers. You know it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is that's good. good. Let us see, I would be remiss if I did not ask you a question about music. You are one of the most talented musician friends that I have. Aww. And I, I wanted to know what music touches your soul. Every Sunday it's Nina and Stevie Wonder. And then on the Mondays, I have to listen to Aretha Frank. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Monday, does, does, is Aretha the one that helps you get back to work? Is that it? Oh, come on. A good holla from Aretha gets me through the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> What's one of your favorite Arethas? I love her whole, all her blues collection. Not mm. many singers grab you on the first line of a song, and she always does that. Why do you say that? What, that they don't grab you on the first line? Why is that a common well, thing, you think? I just, I don't know, maybe it's, let's skip over to the rest of the story. You know what I mean? A lot yeah. of country singers and blues singers, they get it. They know how to, they know that they're telling a story. But a lot in soul music, they don't, they don't pay attention to a lot of the lyrics. They're too busy thinking about, let me show you all the things I can do. Oh, this is beautiful, beautiful. And Alicia, I wanted to ask you a question about another part that I think a lot of people don't know about you is your DIY side. <laughs> yeah, what attracts you to this? First of all, I love working with my hands. I don't know what it is, but it's it's sort of like my biggest soul connection to anything. Like when I'm painting, I'm, I'm no expert in any of these fields, but it they all bring me so much joy. The thing about Alicia is she's always saying, um, she'll show you something that she's built in her house. Like, oh, she bought like this, you know, built-in sofa or lounger. And you're, and you're, she's like, wow. oh, you can do that. I'm like, no, I can't. And she, she's like, no, you can't. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> can. <laughs> but, but I think it's the idea that you, you, when you believe you can and you have vision and you're willing to do the work, you can do it. Definitely. I'll try it at some point. With you around. Yes. Oh, you're, you can do it all, Coleman. You can do it all. Let us see. You, you are an actress, a singer, a songwriter, a producer. You started your own label. You're a publisher. You even started a podcast. Everyone wants to know, why are you so lazy? <laughs> <laughs> Pull it together, would you? Pull it Sorry. together. Can you lose it? But, but seriously, though, what? Okay, what's the goal following global domination? <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> you know, I'm just doing all the things that I always wanted to do or I had to do because someone didn't do it right. After a while, waiting on people, it gets exhausting. So you just have to go for it and do it yourself. Exactly. Lisa, you have a, a new podcast with Kate Manning, who you've been friends with for a very long time. Will you explain to me the decision to name it Pants? Let me tell you, so my, my best friend Kate and I were so bored in the pandemic at, at a certain point that a friend of ours <laughs> suggested we just buy some microphones on Amazon and start a podcast. We have no idea still to this day what it's about or what we're doing, but <laughs> we basically, we just get on the microphone and start talking about anything. Like last week we gave dating advice and we're both like practically 50 and we're like, here's what you do. <laughs> So it's just a silly podcast, it's called Pants, because our friend used to say, she used to call us Pants, she'd be like, There's, you can't have one leg without the other. Ah. Uh. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I have a question for you guys. Uh, who is one of your personal heroes and why? For me, hands down, it's my mother. Mm. She was a nurse, she was a, uh, an RN. She just was the kind of woman that not only took care of her family, but took care of her community. Sometimes I think about these lessons she taught me and I, uh, my mind is blown. Because I think when we're kids, the, our parents are examples, and then when we're adults, it all kind of comes full circle. Yeah, I have to agree with that. My mom as well. My mom mm. had a, a bout with being depressed all the time. And her, um, I pulled her out of it, started getting her diet different, and she started exercising. And next thing you know, she moved and went back to college at 68 and graduated magnum cum laude from college at 68 years old. 
That's amazing. I just love my mom. I'm proud of her. And when I complain, I just think about <laughs> her fight, you know, to keep going. Mm -hmm. We've all had, have, and had great mothers. Um, mine as well is my, she's my personal hero because she taught me how to love, how to have a good time. She taught me to always be curious and always believe in magic. And I think that's yeah. the thing. I think, I mean, I think that's the most um, beautiful gift you can give to a young artist is to let them believe in possibility that you can create worlds. And I think that that's why we're who we are, you know, because it's of so ama true. amazing women. It's true, yeah. definitely. I want you guys to tell me three things about you, okay, that no one knows, but only one of those things are true, okay? And we'll all try to guess which one's true. How about Leisha Haley? Will you go first? I'm a two-time national champion of the Soapbox Derby Association. Two, when I was 18, I hung out all night with John Gotti and members of the Gambino crime family. Oh my God. <laughs> Three, I was hired as a backup singer for Shakira, but pulled out to tour with my own band. Uh, let us see, you answer. Which, which, which one's the truth? I'm gonna say three. I'm gonna say three as well. What's the well, truth? Well, no, it's number two. Uh, Whoa! What? <laughs> what? What? Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> it really yes. is number two? Oh, oh, really wow. number two. When I first moved to New York City, I started dating a girl that Unbeknownst to me, uh, her father was in the crime family. So oh <laughs> one one day she was like, "Bring a dress because my dad's gonna pick us up after school." So I got dressed up, and outside a giant stretch limo pulls up. We get in. Her dad and his right hand man were in, there and they're like, "Hi, honey, nice to meet you." You know, I was like, <laughs> and I had an entire mafia night where I had an Italian dinner. I went clubbing. And at the end of the night, we you went to a bar. No. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the night, it was like three in the morning, and we went to a bar where you literally go like ding, 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 and there shoot. And we went and we go in. It's a tiny, tiny place, and we sit down at a very small table. And John Gotti walks in. He sits next to me. He kisses me on both cheeks. I met him, and we had we all had a cocktail and. Went home later that night. Okay, and, that, know, that's a separately. mic drop. I mean, n nobody else has uh, three things. That, that's a mic drop of, of a tree. Wow. <laughs> wow. I, I really, I don't need to play mine. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think, I think show's over, okay? <laughs> yes, that's it. Shut it down. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Let us see. What about you, Let us see? Give us three things. Give us three okay, things. Okay, three. Let see. Let's see. I am a great violinist. I play basketball really well, and I eat sea bass. You eat sea bass, Alicia? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you play basketball really well. It's definitely it? Alicia one. I do. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yes. What? 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 You're you really good at it? Yes, I'm really good at basketball. <gasps> one time I had a show on a cruise, and after my show, the, there was a basketball court outside, and so when <laughs> I had my heels on and the guys were like, Leg, can you play? I was like, yeah, I can play. They hand me the ball. I had my heels on, my dress, everything. Walked outside to the court, they handed me the ball, three points, whoosh, right into the basket. What? And everybody oh went, God. what? <laughs> they were, you know, I got off stage, I'm singing all sultry and beautiful, and next thing you know, yeah. I'm like, give me the ball. <laughs> Boom, in your face, right? In your face. <laughs> I walked off like George Jefferson, like the yeah. <laughs> That's great. All right, you guys ready for my three? Yes, we want to hear. Here we go. Former heavyweight boxer George Foreman is my second cousin. My father is a former member of Belizean Parliament. My mother was one of the first black models at the Ford Models Modeling Agency. I'm going mother, number three. Model, because you're so good looking. I was, she had to have been a model. <laughs> I'm gonna say boxer. The boxer, boxer, George Foreman. And the answer is, former heavyweight boxer, George Foreman is my second cousin, which is why my drilling so is off the hook. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm amazing with the grill. <laughs> yeah, George so Foreman good. is my second cousin on my mother's side. 
Wow, not, I didn't what? know that, Coleman. That's I, cool. Nobody ever knows that. I, sometimes I forget that. You should be like, giving you know. those out of gifts for Christmas. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be sending you something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Alicia, let us see. I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for having brunch with me today. I'm super grateful to be in your lives and you be a part of my lives. And uh, just you know, spread, keep spreading the love like you do. Come on, I love it. Thanks so for nice having me. Let us see. Nice Thank meeting you, Coleman. Alicia. Thank you, Alicia. You're Thank awesome. You. You're stuck with me. Yes, good. <laughs> We're stuck with each other. We're stuck with each yes. other. Mwah. Before we go, I want to take a moment to talk about this moment. The one we're all living through right now. We spend so much time in our heads, you know, thinking, worrying, thinking some more, worrying some more, asking questions like, when will things get better? When can I get back to my routine? Why am I eating this whole carton of ice cream? But there's one thing that you can do that I think helps you get out of your head, makes you feel better. And that is, um, honestly, that is to be in service to others. And you know, let me tell you, it can be in simple things, you know, like just checking on your neighbor, just calling a friend that you've lost touch with. I just want to leave you with that simple message. I think it's kind of a beautiful message. So I give it to you, take it out into the world, drink responsibly, and I'll see you again next week with another Bottomless Bunch of Coleman's. Bye-bye.